Welcome to Violin Adventures number 34. Well, we started off the week with a bang. I woke up Sunday morning at 4.44, came down to the shop, and water was coming in the door. The water had risen from the creek, come up to the house, and went over the sandbags and was coming seeping in to the door. So, thankfully, my dad had purchased some pumps and we turned the pumps on and kept up with the water. Well, the water subsided, went back to the creek, and then the water table rose and was coming in different places in the basement. So, some videos of the water in early morning and then about 12 hours later. Here, all the birds in all the water. We have lakefront property right now. <laughs> well, you guys, if you can hear me, this is about 12 hours later in the day after our big flood. It's still raining, have a few more hours of rain, and then it will be calm again. Look at those waves out there. Now we must proceed to our Wisconsin violin repair. Okay, next we need to drill a hole in the new block for the end button. Okay, we've done the final check. We top, checked the top, make sure there's no buzzing, no cracks. Everything sounds good. The base bar is in. We've got our lower block with the hole for the end pin. And we have the label in, so it's time to close it up. And while that is drying, we'll work on the new violin. Okay, this guy was hungry. I took a whole quart of water. Okay, I have a new knife I'm using. It's an old knife, but since I got my sharpener, um, this is the first time I'm using it since then, so I needed to sharpen it so it will be nice and sharp. Special knife for cutting the purfling channel. A lot 
lot of owners of these sharpeners say, we wish we would have bought them years ago. Well, I agree. I wish I would have bought it years ago. I'm an old fashioned girl. I like to do things the old fashioned way, but when they come out with an invention or a machine that's improved things so much, I'll take it. Back to the Wisconsin violin. Okay, it's been 24 hours. Time to remove the clamps. Now we're finally ready to fit the neck. And in fitting the neck, uh, there's about five angles that you have to get right. So it usually takes quite a while. So I'm going to see you after I get the neck fit. Okay, you guys, finally, after quite a few hours, we have all the dimensions fitting. <laughs> um, so the neck is ready to be glued on. Started the week with the flooding and I guess a lot of Kentucky um, areas got flooded so our area wasn't so bad but um, this flood caused a lot of flooding in a lot of basements so they said they hadn't had a flood like this since 1984 so we're thankful ours wasn't too bad well I decided we've got a nice sunny day today I got to come out in the sun and um, take a peek out here. Let's see what the creek is doing. There it is. Let's see that way and then back this way. It actually cleaned out a lot of rubbish and um, so everything looks pretty nice right now. You can hear the water rippling by. Trees did all right with the frost and the snow. Um, they look like they're gonna they're gonna make it through the winter. I heard a little rumor that you guys out there in California are having spring already. Flowers are popping out. That must be real beautiful. Out here, it's still in the middle of winter. It's just starting to warm up. So today is in the 50s. Let me show you this, the creek here. I hear rumors some of you guys want to come out and visit. Well, come on out. It's really nice and uh, the leaves will probably start coming back in April, not sure. Oh, I spy, I spy a beaver. Okay, while our repair is drying, we can start inlaying the purfling. So here's our little strips of wood.
okay, the purfling is in on the back side. It still has to be taken down, but at least it's in. Okay, here we have one corner that needs to be repaired. So here's the before picture. Okay, it's time to take the clamp off the neck. So next we'll be repairing this corner that is broken off and also taking down the blocks on the back and attaching the old, um, the old repair that is just for looks now. Now we're going to take down the little pair, repair right here, and also on the back, take down the extra wood. <clears throat> okay, at this point, we've got the corner on and blended. We've also got the back button cut down and now I'm going to give this a good polish and touch up on all the areas where the varnish is a little bit chipped off. Okay, we got it all touched up and blended in. Here's the corner. There's the corner. This one here. All blended in and looks like the rest. And I did some touch up on the varnish and polished the neck. So we're going to hang this and let it dry. Probably take at least 24 hours to dry. This is a little project in the thinking stage. So I may show you the same pile with a few additions next time. If you can guess what I'm making, comment below. Well, it's the end of the week. Let's see where we stand. Okay, up here we have our Wisconsin violin and it is drying. The touch-up is drying. We don't want to touch the varnish because that's a varnish is a sign, one of the signs we use to tell the age of the instrument. So we leave the varnish but I just did a little bit of touch-up. So we'll get a closer look at it. Here is the back button is repaired now. The neck is in. Um, the corner block is repaired and everything is blending nicely. So next week we will plan to cut a bridge, cut a sound post, um, check over the pegs and set it up and see how it sounds. Here's our violin. The purfling is in. On the front and also on the back. There it is. So what we have to do next is take down the edges, round all the edges, and then we can put the scroll on. The scroll still needs a little more work. In the harp department, we have some parts started here, so when the time comes, we'll be ready to put the pieces together to make a harp. 
and the Hebrew Minute. Shimu Eli Yedei Zedek Om Torati Velibam Al Tiru Hir Pat Enosh Umigida Potam Al Tehato. This is God speaking. He says, Hear or listen to me, ye who know righteousness. The people in whose heart is my instruction or my Torah, do not fear the reproach of the people and don't be dismayed at their insults. Here's some video of my dad out in the yard cleaning up uh, after the flood. There were lots of logs and lots of branches and so he was picking those all up and making it look nice again. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and for your comments and your thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.